اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم والحمد للہ والصلاة والسلام علی مولا نبی آباد سیدنا و نبینا و حبیبنا و مولانا محمد صلی اللہ تعالی علیہ وسلم و علی آلہ و صحابہ و من احتدہ بی حدہ الى یوم الدین فائن اخیر الحدیث کتاب اللہ و خیر الحدی حدی محمد صلی اللہ تعالی علیہ وسلم و شار الامور محدثاتها و کولا محدثات بدیا و کولا بدیا دولالا و کولا دولالتی فی النا رب شرالی صدری و یسرلی امری و حلو قدتا من لسانی یفکہو کاولی رب لا تواخذنی مما یکولون و فیلی مالا یالمون و جالنی خیران مما یزنون آما بار من دیر برا سنسی ساسن اسلام السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ تعالی و برکاتو Welcome to the house of dua. Subhanallah. Subhanallah wa bihamdihi. Subhanallah ili azim. Subhanallah wa bihamdihi. Subhanallah ili azim. Subhanallah. Walhamdulillah. Wala ilaha illa la. Wala hu akba. Wala hawla wala kuwata illa bi la ili ali ili azim. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam. When something amazing happens to a believer, we are expected to say Subhanallah. It is amazing for me to reunite with you today. It is even more amazing for me to reunite with you today on this glorious day, in this special moment, on this day known as the day of Arafah. Subhanallah. Walhamdulillah. Walla ilaha illallah. Walla hu akbar. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, welcome to the house of Dua. It's my pleasure to return back to you after about one month break due to circumstances beyond our control. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, I'm opening the door today on a new day, on a glorious day, on a holy day, on a special day, the day of Arafah. It is amazing for me to wake up this morning to remind you and remind myself that today is Yawmu Jumwa. And by coincidence and the mercy of Allah, today is Yawmu Arafah, the day of the Hajj, the day of the highest gathering mankind witnesses every year or we ever witness. This is the day of the largest single gathering of mankind in the entire universe. We are honored by this day. It is a day of unity of the Ummah of Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. It is the day of takbirat, magnification of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar, Wallahu Akbar, Wallahu Akbar, My dear brothers and sisters, as I speak to you, Millions of fellow Muslims are gathered at the plains of Arafah in the Arabian Peninsula. Why are they gathered there? Because of La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. There's no other God to be worshipped except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam is the final messenger and of course the final prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is why they are gathered there. They are there to perform the Hajj, to reenact the tradition established for us by Prophet Ibrahim, alayhi salam, which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told the Holy Prophet Muhammad, for tabi meleta Ibrahim. Follow the example of Ibrahim, alayhi salam. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, for those our brothers and sisters who are performing the Hajj this year, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant them hajj, my bro. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bring them back to their families safely after the hajj. We are in unique days. My dear brothers and sisters, today is a coincidence of righteousness. Today is the concordance of goodness. Goodness from the right, goodness from the left. Today is unique in the sense that it is not always common. For the day of Arafat to fall on Friday, on Yamu Juma. 
as you already know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, He created the days of the week and honored them with Yawm al Juma. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, through the beautiful mouth of Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam, told us that the day of Arafah is a special day. There is no other day in the life of mankind that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grants his supreme amnesty to those who are in hellfire than the day of Arafah. Out of his mercy and kindness, he takes the opportunity of this day to release those who have been in hellfire out of hell because of the significance of this day. There are some of the hadith of Rasulullah even though they may not be considered to be authentic, that tell us that it is the day of Juma, that the day of accountability will take place. And that day of accountability, the location of it is going to be the place of Arafat. We don't know how far that is true. Everything is known to our last one of time. But it goes to remind us of the importance of the day of Arafah and the day of Juma. For the two of them, therefore, to coincide, there's something special. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says the day of Juma is very important. Therefore, is <speaking in Hebrew> When you hear the call to prayer on the day of Juma, move. Move towards remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Leave whatever earthly possessions and pursuits you are engaged in. That is better for you. If you leave those ones and move towards remembering Allah, that is better for you if you know the value. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, with respect to the day of Arafah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in his majesty, took an oath, wal shafu, wal water, wal elen, yasir, by the even and by the odd, and by the night when it recedes. Allah akbar khabir. What is the even and what is the odd? By the even, that is the day of Anahar, the day of slaughter, which is going to be tomorrow. May Allah preserve our life to tomorrow and beyond. Well, what? And by the odd, which is the day of Arafah, the night of the month of Zulhijjah, which is today. Why did Allah swear with these days? Because they are significant. Because they are special. Because he wants to pass a special message to us. This is a tremendous oath for those of you who want to pay attention, who have knowledge, who have understanding. Pay attention to what Allah wants to tell you. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, from day one of the month of Zulhijjah, these are special, special days that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told us that. No deeds are more beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala than the deeds done by a believer on the first 10 days of the month of dhul -Hijjah. What have you been doing since the occurrence of the month of dhul -Hijjah? If you have not done anything, today is a unique opportunity for you, the day of Arafah. This is a unique opportunity, and if you have been doing a lot, do more. Today is a unique day. I call it the coincidence of goodness, the coincidence of righteousness, which is very rare. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, it is true that many of us reach out to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala every day. We call on Him for our difficulties, to grant us relief, to grant us good health, to grant us children, to open the way of success for us. We do so. And many of us are always asking the question, when is the best time for me to reach out to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that my supplications will be answered? That's a very common concern to many of us. For such people, now you have the opportunity. Here is the coincidence of righteousness. It is rare for the day of Arafat to fall on the day of Juma. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, 
what have you been doing? We are told in the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam that those of us who fast on this day, if you are not in the Hajj, you fast on this day, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive all the sins you committed last year and the sins you will commit next year. That reminds us of the importance of this day as well. All this reminds me that this is not an ordinary moment. This is a moment I have been waiting for to reach out to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I believe the same thing with you. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, hurry up. Fasta biku le khairat. Make haste towards goodness. Fasta biku le khairat. Make haste towards goodness. Fasta biku le khairat. Ilelahi marajoko jamia. Fayuna biku bi makonton fi. Tata Make haste towards goodness. All of you are coming back to Allah for accountability and He will judge between you over those matters in which you differ. Here is your opportunity you have been waiting for. Allah will respond to your supplication any day, any time you call upon Him. But on this day, on this day, the day of Arafah, taking place on Friday, Yom Jumwa, your supplication will not be turned back. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant you your supplication. Therefore, make haste. What is that special thing you have been calling upon Allah for? For which you have not received any response? You may have gotten something, but you don't want to acknowledge it. But then, here is a special moment now for you. To reach out to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in order for you to receive that special grace from him. The day of Arafah on the day of Juma. You know that ordinarily we don't fast on the day of Juma. But it's permissible for us to fast today if you are not performing the Hajj. It's permissible for you to fast today because it's a day of Arafah. You are not fasting with the intention that you are fasting for the day of Juma. You are fasting with the intention that you are fasting on the day of Arafah. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, those of you who are doing so today, like me, I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept our fast. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in several surahs of the Quran, in Surah Al Imran, for example, it says, In Nafiqal Kisamawati, one right. Whatever you see in this creation, anything, living or non living, if you pay attention, and the alternation between night and day that you see every day, which you take for granted, if you pay attention, there are signs in it. There are signs in it for those of you who have intellect. In Surah Yunus, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, In Afik tila fi le le wa naha, O makala kala ufi sama wa ati wanrad, La ya ati le kaume ya toku. Only those who are conscious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala know that the differences, the changes between night and day and everything that is in the creation, there are powerful lessons, evidences, revelations, signs that will guide you in this world. The occurrence of the day of Arafah on the day of Juma is one of such unique lessons that you need to pay attention to. This is the truth. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, let's look at the circumstances around us. For example, it's not too long ago, the entire mankind was brought down by a virus known as COVID-19. That virus is beginning to recede now by the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And right now, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made it possible for the day of Arafat to fall on Yawmud Juma. 
a special grace for that matter. If it's not an indication to you that this is a mercy from Allah, I don't know what is going to be an indication to you that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is prepared to show us his mercy. Just about a month ago, we observed the soulful camera, the eclipse of the moon. Did you pay attention? These are signs that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asks you to pay attention to so that you will know what is around you. So that you will know what to do at any point in time. Did you pay attention to Kusufun Kamer that took place about a month ago? I'm sure you did not. That's a special event that we ought to pay attention to and do what Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam remind us to do in such auspicious events. Now, the day of Arafah has coincided with Yamu Juma, reminding us that the mercy of Allah is on the ground. Reminding us that the mercy of Allah is here. Reach out to Allah's one over to Allah and grab the mercy right now. Don't allow yourself to be left behind. If you have been doing well before, now is the time for you to ask Allah to consolidate your successes for you. If you have not been doing well, here is the time for you to call on Allah. Ya Allah, I will not stop calling upon you. For you are my creator, my source, and my provider, my cherisher, my nourisher, my curer, the one to whom I shall return for accountability. Here I am. That's why those who are in the Hajj are taught to say, Babek Allah, Human Labek, Babek Allah, Sheri Kala Kala Bek, and Alehamda, Wane Amata, Laka Wal Muluk, La Sheri Kala. Babek Allah, Human Labek. Here I am, O Lord, my creator, my sustainer, my provider. Here I am. At your service. Obey Kala Shari Kala Kala Here I am at your service. I testify that there is no partner with you. In Alhamdulillah, wa Naima, Laka wal All the praise, all the favors belong to you. You grant to whoever you want to grant. The same thing with Muluk. The entire dominion belongs to you. La Shari Kala. There is no partner with you. This is the moment for which we need to say that, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam. Don't allow this moment to pass you. No, don't allow this moment to pass you without you reaching out to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as your brothers and sisters are doing in the Hajj right now. It may be your turn to perform the Hajj next year. But in the meantime, take advantage of what is available right now to reach out to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, we are going through unique days, unique moments, unique minutes and hours. It's moving so fast. Don't allow it to go by without you reaching out to Allah's one or other in worship, in reading his message, the Quran of Karim, in doing sadaqah, in doing dhikr, in doing tafakur, in doing all forms of goodness. In Every good deed is an act of sadaka. You will be rewarded for it. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, the focus of my speech today is to remind you that you are lucky to witness a special moment in your life. Therefore, take advantage of it. Wherever you may be, take advantage of it. The best time to reach out to Allah's one word to Allah today is past Zawah. Every part of the day is important, but after Zawah, Commit yourself to reaching out to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with your needs. What is Zawah? After the sun has tilted from the east towards the west. In other words, past noon. From that moment, reach out to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Either through salawat, even if it's only through rakahs, or through dhikr, or through reading the Quran, or through doing sadaka, or through doing tafakur, whatever you can do. To reach out to Allah and through doing his tigfar, asking Allah for forgiveness. Take a look at the verses of the Hajj. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continues to emphasize. Was Kurola, was Kurola, and Damashar in Hara, was Kurum, Kama Hadakum, Wankum, Tome Kauli, Lamina, Dolly. To my feet, do me high to my father now. What's the fear of Allah in a lag of food? 
Taiza Kade Tumana Sikokun. Paskurula. Paskurula Kazikrikon Aba Okun Awa Shada Zikira. Omina Nas Mayoko Lura Banat Nafidunia. Oma lo hon fin akara te min kala ko. O mini hon man yoku olu rabbana ati na fi dunia hasan. O fin akara te hasan o ki na azabana. You continuously hear Allah hammering on two things. Se me bran so pala. Askuru la. Astafiru la. Seeking Allah's forgiveness. My dear brothers and sisters, Islam. Ask Allah to forgive your baggage of sins that you have accumulated for a long time. Take advantage of this moment. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to open doors of opportunities for you. Here is a warning. Don't take advantage of this moment to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to punish your enemy. Kill him or destroy her. No, don't do that. Leave the negativities for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to open your doors. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant you more successes. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to strengthen your feet as a Muslim. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect you against the shaitan and the shayateen of life. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive your dead parents. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help your children. Ask for those things that are good. Forget about those people who are worrying you. Leave them for Allah. Allah says, Allah Akun has be Allah, la 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 hu. Alehi ta wa kan tu wa hu arabul arashile azin. Ya Muhammad, if you tell them and they say no and they are threatening you and they want to harm you, just tell them. Don't worry about it. Has be Allah. Allah is sufficient for me. Alehi ta wa kan tu. I put my trust in Him. Wa hu arabul arashile azin. He is the Lord of the throne. He is the only one that you can trust in. Wa la la he. Let believers put their trust in Allah. As I speak, there are people who are already beyond Zawa. My dear brothers and sisters, Islam, today is a unique day. Wherever you are right now, whether you are at the beginning of the day or you are at the middle of the day or you are towards the end of the day, don't give up. Energize yourself. Find out how you can reach out to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Make effort. This is a day that may not come again until another maybe 5, 10, or 15 years. You never know. And you may not be here at that time. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive our sins. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us the maximum benefit of this day, Yamu Arafat, on the day of Juma. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive our sins. Take shaitan away from our lives and take our lives far away from shaitan. May Allah make your life better than before. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make your children better than you. Subhanahu wa ta'ala 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 wa ta